structural uh, programming implementation of a specific concrete game. I chosen Diablo 3. So Diablo 3 is a very famous game made by Blizzard and maybe you already know this game and even played this game. So, so far I have teached uh, Unity and c -sharp programming uh, somewhat abstract concept like event and delegate and interface and abstract class and so on or some uh, basic programming concept. So eventually uh, what is important is actual implementation of actual game so game so in in the game programming field so you should actually code some system or or some entire entire game so you need and and we need the actual implementation and practices of specific game and specific game system. So what is important is eventually a concrete system. So Diablo 3 is a very a large scope game and many developers, maybe a few hundred developers made this. And I can't uh, cover about all of Diablo 3's old system. So at this time, I just picked up uh, Diablo 3's skill system. And so, actually, in this lecture, I will I will uh, do and co code. Uh, so how to actually make a Diablo 3's skill system. So let's see uh, some Diablo 3's building. So this is our Diablo 3's main page and made by Blizzard. This is a new uh, new class Necromancer. And so actually run, running the game. So in this game there is a skill. So, for example, if I press S key at keyboard, like this, you can choose uh, six skills. Uh, each is assigned two key at one key and two, three, four, four numbers key at the keyboard, and mouse left click and mouse right click. So below is below four is means uh, passive skills. So passive skills is uh, just a uh, static uh, skill. So if if you set here any passive skill, then its effect is all is on. In the other hand, so active skill means you should press this key. So you should press one key to activate this skill. So you choose any skill. So uh, what to assign to number one key and number two key. And you can change and you can change also the skills rune. Skill runes means uh, uh, same skills, uh, some different effect. So I will cover about how to make uh, this skill system actually in the Unity. And so this system can be used for many other games like RPG game or any other skill uses basis game. So let's start at the actual lecture. See you next time.